So here we go then. Welcome to another edition of Game Day. I'm here at sunny but windy Morecambe for Towns League One Clash. I'm here at the Bay, which is looking very magnificent, I have to say. I'm looking forward to this game today. Of course, Town looking to make it three wins in a row. I'm going to have a little wander around Morecambe. I'm going to bump into a familiar face from these parts to get his thoughts on the game. So let's get right into it. Oh my God, I'm having a mess. Oh, what a shot. Five boxes left. I want to go number eight. Hopefully it's not the 100. I don't know what the strategy is for this. The strategy. There's no strategy to this. Two more. Okay then, I've joined by the legendary Eric Morecambe. I'm going to get his thoughts on the game. Eric, what's your thoughts, my friend? He's gone for a Morecambe win. He's being bold with that one. I uh, hope you have a good day, mate, in the sunshine. I'm going to go and head to the ground. They get the thoughts from the co army, get some team news. Have a good one, my friend. See you there. Okay, now we're at the ground. I'm joined by good old Liam from Crew. Had the pleasure of driving me here. Uh, thanks again for that, my friend. It's been a great time in Morecambe so far. We're now getting ready for kickoff. Team news is out. Kyle Edwards starts. Richard Kyo starts. Your thoughts, my friend? Uh, it's mechanical, isn't it? Um, keeps changing the team, keeps you on your toes. I think Edwards was always going to be one that's a bit hard to resist after Tuesday night's 20-minute uh, cameo and the way he's been speaking about him. Uh, Richard Keogh, I think that's like a Dominic Ball situation on Tuesday. Give him some minutes, uh, get him actually ready to go in case we ever need him if we start getting some injuries. Um, and then obviously Jackson starting up front after saying that Ladapo had his best game for Ipswich on Tuesday night. So you can't really, you can't really guess, can you? He, he always keeps you on your toes. But that team is still good enough to win this game. And, um, well, I, 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 I'm really confident that we're going to win this uh, by three goals to nil. So, uh, so, yeah, bring it on. Let's get into the ground then. Next, I'm joined by good old John Watson. 2 1 town against Morecambe. Your thoughts, my friend? Uh, wasn't a classic, was it? No. Um, first half was pretty um, pretty poor by us. I thought we played right into their game plan. Um, they just were structured, organised. We were a bit ponderous on the ball, a bit too slow, um, and nothing stuck. Jackson, for me, had his poorest game for a while. Evans was off in the first half, I thought, as well. Um, they went in having kind of nicked that goal. They would have been delighted at half time, yeah. really would. And to be fair, we, we had some decent uh, attempts and, um, of possession and stuff, but we only had two real shots in the first half. Um, bit disappointing, really. And second half came out, and the, the kind of tempo, the pace, of the, it was quite frenetic the first few minutes. Um, honestly, I think we got away with one there because it could have been last season. Yeah. We wouldn't have won that, and that's another typical um, step up. So, got to be happy. Thought Sammy Moore's he ran the show second half. Really, he, without he's not head. a booking as like, you know. Yeah. He's one more way for being suspended for a game, but he's still. But he just yeah. it's his work rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without his energy, like that, he's a wasp today. He just yeah. bothering everybody. Um, Keo and Edmondson did okay as well. Jackson was poor though. Um, really disappointing with um, Caden's touches and. So you've got to be happy, yo. We've yeah. got is that three on the bounce now? Yeah, three on the bounce. When did we last have that? I can't remember. So really two penalties as well. It's a rarity. So anyway, I'll shut up and uh, come on, you boos. It's all, man. Coming next, I'm joined by Dan, who's making his debut. Um, right. We're talking about a win, not the comfortable win we thought we were going to get today. But um, your thoughts, my friend? Um, first half, I thought Morecambe came out really, really strong. Played really well. Um, you wouldn't have known there was that big gap in the table between them. Thought it was our poorest half that I've seen us play this yeah. season. Um, both from the, the players but the fans as well. We were really quiet in that yeah. away end um, and it wasn't particularly good. They nicked the goal, a bit of a sinking feeling. 
Um, I think someone else said last season we'd have lost that or drawn it. Yeah. Totally agree with that. So really good. I, th I believe that's the first game we've gone in at half time down this yeah. season. So to come back again, that shows the resilience that we didn't have last season. Um, energy levels in the second half were completely different. Um, Sam Morsey, I thought, was back to his best. I think he's had a couple of quieter games more recently, um, but he was absolutely everywhere. Um, Kyle Edwards driving into the box for the first penalty. I don't know why we don't do more of that, because he's so, so difficult to play as a defender that um, you're going to get them, aren't you, if you, if you do that. Um, and all right, Connor Chapman didn't score it, but second penalty we did. Um, and then also um, the first goal from a defender in the league as, as well today. Yeah, yeah. So a, a number of firsts there. Yeah. Um, and overall, yeah, it probably wasn't the performance that we were looking for coming to the bottom of the table. But we wouldn't have got a three points last season. So three more, you know, last season it was a one-all draw here, two extra points. Every game that we seem to play, we're getting better results than the corresponding fixtures last season. So all in all, happy for the trip home. Up, man. Thanks up the town. Up the town. Well, Peachy, when I spoke to you on Tuesday, we were buzzing, we were hugging. We're still going to well, hug anyway, yeah. my friend. Really um, just. Yeah, just. <laughs> just. Um, <laughs> some great thoughts so far. Your thoughts, as always. I'll be honest, after, after the first half, we were. that's the worst I think I've seen us play this season. Yeah. Definitely under McKenna. But I have to give massive credit to Morecambe. Yeah. You know, I'm going to say we played badly, but they stifled us. They slowed the game down. They, def you know, they defended well. They kept, they, I would say, kept the ball well. Um, they punished us. For me, I thought it was poor defending at first, but actually, I think it's actually a really good routine. But then I was, I was chatting to a mate while at half time saying, This is, I say it, Whoop. shit. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was. <laughs> but we come out second half brilliantly. Like, yep. There was only one team winning that game after that. But I was at half time again, like, I was questioning, Oh, did we change from McKenna? What's it? What do I know? I know nothing. <laughs> I know absolutely no. nothing. All I'll do is support that team. And, yeah. But yeah, brilliant second half. And But I'll say, Fair play to Morgan, great club, and the fan base are great. I just hope they get out of the relegation fight, to be honest. Yeah. Got a lot of time for them, really have. The good thing is, to end with you, my friend, nice weather today. It's right, isn't it? I thought yeah. I'd get here, but I'm absolutely freezing. I say, but I was, got here. I thought, I've got, I've got my woolly hat in the car, I've got my scarf. I thought, don't need that, don't need that. Sun is shining, my friend, and now oh, three points. 100%. Top man. Love you. Come next, I'm joined by another Dableton. This time it's Darren. Darren, thanks for joining me, my friend. A win is a win. You take it all day long to get out of this division. You've got to win games ugly. Your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, it's take the points and run, I think, from that one. Um, first half, you know, oh dear. I think I, I, I don't know what it was. It was like we were almost nervous, yeah. too too cautious, the way we were knocking it about. Um, and I think we, we just we gave them a, a means to get into the game and take some, you know, take some control of it. Um, <coughs> second half. I mean, Carl Edwards, I think, I think he made a big difference second half, just straight, yeah. straight up there, you know, smacking the post immediately. And I, th I thought for a minute when we had that and then we've, you know, the, the, I think they've, uh, one of their own men has tipped it onto the bar, you're thinking, is it going to be one of them days? Yeah. But I think what I'd really say, what, what we're doing this season is that was one of them tests yeah. today. It feels like, you know, we, we've had a test like with Cambridge um, earlier in the week, you know, those kind of really gritty games where we, we've had to break down and, and keep, yeah. keep going and keep going. Today, I thought we were going to have a game like that again today, um, especially with what they were saying before the match about, you know, they were going to have to be really, you know, really nasty. Um, but fair play to them. I mean, I don't, that didn't look like a really depleted side, to be honest, if it, if it was. Um, and uh, they made it really difficult. But the, the pressure that we put on the first half, at the beginning of the second half, you just thought, yeah, we need to make this count. So glad we did. <laughs> Um, really glad then, especially we're missing the first penalty. You just thought, oh, you know, Here we go. Is, it, is it going to be like that again? But yeah, I mean, you know, very grateful to get the second penalty. And then I thought, I thought after that, we just saw it out really well. Um, but these, again, it, I find myself thinking it again and again this season. It's a game we wouldn't have won last year um, or any point in the last three years we've been, in, been stuck in this league. You know, you feel like this is what Kieran McKenna's got us doing, is passing these tests that you expect us to win. And as long as we can keep doing that against these teams, you know, hopefully keep doing, you know, occasionally against the big sides like we did against Portsmouth, then you think maybe this is it. This has got to be our time. I like it. Thanks yeah. for joining me, my friend. Thank you very much. I'm next, I'm joined by Peter. Peter, 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 my friend. Yes. Your thoughts? Do you know what? First half, Ipswich were not great, and they weren't. Neither were Morecambe, but Morecambe took their chance, hence why they got the goal. Yeah. I was saying to a few of the Ipswich fans in the, uh, at half-time that they will win this game in the second half. Some weren't convinced. I had that confidence. And I think my confidence just sort of strewn round the away end. And we got that goal back, I think it was from George Edmondson from a corner. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we got the penalty from Chaplin. And I've said that Chaplin was one of our best players this season. The penalty wasn't great, was it? 
and then lo and behold we got a second penalty and I thought please Chaplin do not take this penalty I like Chaplin I think you're a great player your championship quality you've done great for this football club but please do not take this penalty <laughs> and then I think it was Lee Evans who took the penalty yeah, and it wasn't a comedy show I can tell you but he put the ball in the back of the net and fair play to Evans he's had some criticism from some fans because some fans don't think he's great I thought, he's, I thought he's bad in the first half but he stepped up in the second half second half you're quite right first half no one played well apart from Morsi as usual yeah. second half he stepped up the plate he got that penalty he took it put it in the back of the net what more could you ask and we just put on a professional performance we just saw out that game I mean I do remember that the keeper Ripley got a lot of stick from the fans because of him because he's Comments, like yeah. yeah saying that he's like the next fat Casper Schmeichel or something like that but do you know something? The performance was absolutely brilliant from Ipswich in the second half. Keogh's experience was brilliant. He was like a second captain in that team because of his experience. He was the captain at uh, Derby, I recall, and his leadership skills and his experience. And he played very, very well for a 36-year-old. I thought he was brilliant. And he's such a nice bloke as well. I've met him a few times. But Morsi, best player on the pitch. He just leads by example. And Ipswich were just brilliant as the game went on. It wasn't a brilliant performance, but they played better than what they did in the first half. This time last year, we drew this game, and I've said this with a lot of games as well. There's games that we've drawn that we would have lost last year, games that we won that we would have drawn last year. So we're going in the right direction. We just need to keep on top of it, be consistent, and there's no reason why Ipswich cannot get promoted. It's in them, and we've got a great manager as well. So, uh, yeah, well done. Just before I do go as well, Fantastic from the Ipswich fans. The support was brilliant as usual. They come up in their numbers. Obviously, it's difficult coming from Suffolk up to Lancashire. And some fans came last night. Some fans came on the coach today. But the support is unbelievable from Ipswich. It's a credit to the fans, definitely. And the final man that is joining me is a man who I joined first when we got to the stadium. He's drove me to the game. It's good old Liam from Crew. A win, my friend. Three points in the bag. Three wins in a row. What a great week it's been. Yeah, really, really good. Um, we had to grit that one out. I think everyone got a bit overcarried away after Tuesday night. Yeah, me, sorry. Um, really gritty. Uh, first half was was pretty bad. Um, although they only had that really one chance and they scored. Someone said it was offside. I don't know if it was or not. But there wasn't that much in the game. It just looked like if we could actually find the spaces, we would break them down at will. But it seemed to get sloppier and sloppier and then second half well there's only one winner I mean we've hit the post first minute they've hit their own bar two seconds later and then and then obviously we got the equaliser and then we've had two penalties so <laughs> there was only one winner at the end of that and even though they put pressure on that they didn't look like scoring Richard Keogh was just immense at the back um, like another leader in the team really absolutely fantastic um, Sam Morsi was brilliant driving forward in midfield and, and the rest of the team, it, it, it got so much better second half and if we had actually played like that in the first half, I think we yeah. probably would have batted them. So, uh, But it's three points, I don't care, we're, we're still flying high. Indeed, my friend. And have a weekend in Morecambe done. Thanks for watching Game Day. See you later. Bye-bye for now.